Hey everyone, Brian and Jeff from Workshop Addict and today we're taking a look at Motive Products Power Brake Bleeder. This is basically a pressure bleeder that hooks up to your master cylinder through different adapters and when you purchase the system you're going to get a pressure pump which is a hand pump with a gauge on it and it has a nice long hose on it so you can actually use this on a bench or away from the engine bay of the vehicle. You don't have to be pumping something up directly in your engine bay. These different adapters, and they offer a lot of them for almost any different vehicle that's on the market, including foreign vehicles. So you can pick these up for whatever vehicles you're going to use them for and move on. They also come with some handy little catch cans. Yeah, that you can hook up to the bleeders. Uh, they have a cable on them so you can connect them up and hang them from something down below. Uh, it worked out excellent. Yeah, very good. So the basics of this kit, when you're going to start, you're going to use it either to flush a system that had old fluid in it, like we did here, or you're going to start and say there's some air bubbles and you're going to try to get them out of the line. Yeah, if you're changing brake lines or whatnot where you open the system, you have to bleed it back out. Right. So either way, when you start this guy up, you're going to pick out the correct adapter for your master cylinder connect it up to the system, put the adapter on the top of your master cylinder, pressurize the power bleeder dry. Make sure you don't have any leaks, that's going to be important. Once you pump it up to 15 psi, make sure that it stays there for a little bit, then you can relieve the pressure, load up to two quarts of brake fluid and make sure that the brake fluid has not been opened and it's brand new. Brake fluid likes to suck water into it so open brake fluid can actually be contaminated with water. Put your brake fluid in, pressurize this up to the manufactured recommended amount for using this on your car. Everyone's going to be different but just make sure that you never go over 20 psi. Once this is pressured up you're set to go on the other end and start bleeding. Take your bottle back to most generally you start with the furthest brake line or the longest run, which would be your right rear. Hook your hose up to your bleeder. If you have a tall vehicle, hang it up. Otherwise, you can set it right on the ground. Break your bleeder and almost immediately you have fluid running. And in our case, when we were flushing it, you could see the old material come out. And when the new material got there, you could see the color change in the bottle that point close your bleeder off move to the next one and keep moving until you get to the closest one and uh, once you're done there you've done all four tires you are you're and set it I mean, it, it's quick we did two vehicles in about an hour uh, and that was kind of learning the system making sure knowing what we're doing cleaning up brake fluid can take off paint so make sure that you have a lot of water or something to clean up uh, the surface of anything you get it on. The nice thing about this system, it's no mess. So you don't, I mean, granted, if you spill something, it's right. your own fault right. where you got to clean it up. But it's very contained. There's no mess involved with it. The messiest part of what we did was we used a turkey baster basically to remove fluid from the master cylinder in the beginning. That was the messiest part because our turkey baster wasn't exactly the best. Right. And other than that, everything worked good. So if you're looking for something to work on brakes or do your brake systems or uh, possibly even hydraulic clutch systems mm -hmm. at home, this is a great direction to look. Check it out at their website. You can also stop by Workshop Addict. We have a blog and a forum over there. We do a lot of work on social media, so check us out on your favorite social media site. Give us a like and subscribe to this channel. We'll keep you up to date on tool news and different things that are going on in the tool world and automotive industry. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day.